Hello everyone, uh, this is Derek Shalkowski again. Today we're going to go over something a little bit different. Uh, we are not doing this on WebEx, so I'm going to actually record this separately, but we are here on the desk. And what we're going to go over today are some basic calculations for media. Now, media is an interesting thing. It's all about proportions and it's all about recipes. It's very much like cooking. So if I ask you to make, uh, let's say our goal here is to make one liter of triptych soy auger. Well, that means we're going to need two components. We're going to need triptych soy broth and auger. Okay. Where do we get these types of things? Well, we're going to go to our auger powder, which I have right here, and Notice how there's not anything here. Well, we have to figure out. Well, in this case, we're just going to use 1.5% auger. So the first thing we're going to try to calculate is how much auger do we need? One liter is 1,000 mils. So we're going to take what is 1.5% of 1,000 and it comes out to 15 grams. All right, now how much triptych soy broth do we need? Well, we're gonna go here, and it's hard to see, I know, because the video, but it does tell you on here exactly how much you need. In this case, 30 grams of powder. So that's for one liter. Now let's change things up here, shall we? This is if we're doing batch culture. Batch culture is what we use here in the lab because we burn through certain media, especially TSA. But what if you weren't making batch culture? What if you wanted to conserve as much media as possible? Let's say that you wanted to have uh, 10 tubes, 10 slants, Of TSA. Well, a slant has around eight mils, and then we're going to say that you have a uh, ten mil uh, allotment, which is just for uh, if you screw up, things go wrong, that type of thing. Sometimes you overpour, sometimes you underpour. So, how much total? mills do I need? In this case, it's going to be 8 times 10 plus 10 ml. Okay, so I need a total of 90 milliliters. So how much TSB am I going to need? How much broth powder? Uh, we're going to have X grams over 90 equals, now our ratio is up here, 30 grams per liter. And we do some math. This is ML. I'm going to do this. Do that. This and this cancels out, so we just have X grams left as my pen is dying. And then we're going to multiply this out. So I'm going to come over to my calculator over here on the computer. And we're going to multiply out what we have here. We're going to multiply out the uh, 30 divide that by a thousand which gives us 0 0.03 and then multiply that by the 90. That gives us a total of 2.7 grams of TSB that we need for this. Now let's look at the auger. We need X grams of auger and we have 15 uh, grams per liter. Oops, down here we have 
90 ml, which equals 15 grams per liter. And I'm going to pull out a different pen for this. And we're going to do the same thing here. 90, 90. So we have x, in this case, is equal to 15 divided by 1,000, which is 0 0.015 times 90. So this gives us a total of 1.35 grams of auger. So to make this, we would need this and this. And that is the basis for all the math that we're doing here for media. If you're given a problem, and you will be given problems for this, we will give you certain aspects of it. We will give you on your question the following information. The bottle value. These are things like uh, 30 grams per liter powder or 42 grams per liter. This is almost always put in a per liter where you will have to convert to milliliters, but it's a metric system. It's super easy. We will then give you the total volume needed. Typically, this is in the case of us saying we want, you know, uh, 30 tubes at uh, 9 mils each. So that was what you'd calculate that out, 30 times 9. We'll also give you the allotment. This is that uh, allotment factor, that wiggle room. Typically, this is going to be either 10 mils or uh, 20 mils something of that nature. So that's what you're, you're given each time. So with these items, you should be able to calculate out anything you need. So let's do something a bit different this time. Let's go with basic triptic soy broth tubes. I want 250 TSB tubes. Each tube has uh, 9 mils in it. A 100 milliliter allotment. And we'll say that in this case, the bottle says we need, we'll go with some odd number, 92 grams per liter. So we go about doing this the exact same way we did the other one, only we don't include the auger because we don't have auger this time. So we're going to multiply out 250 times 9. which gives us 2,250. Then we're going to add in the 100 milliliters. So we need a total volume of 2,350 milliliters. We set up our ratio, x over, in this case, uh, 2,350 equals 92 grams per 1,000 milliliters. Again, this is grams, this is ml. You want to make sure that we're all multiplying across the same units here. If you left this as one liter, it would not cancel itself out. This is basic stoichiometry. We need to have the same type of units here. So going through, multiplying this, we have 2350ml, 2350ml, mls cancel out, these two cancel each other out, we are left with x grams, mls cancel each other out, so after we do this math, all we'll have left are grams. 
And now we're going to have 92 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.092. And now we're going to multiply that by this 2350, which is 216.2 grams of powder. Now when we get to this point, ask ourselves, does this make sense? If our ratio up here is 92 grams per liter, and we are putting in about two and a third grams, uh, we're making about two and a third liters, does that make sense? So 92 divided by a third is about 30. So we should get 92 plus 92 plus 30 should be around 216. Turns out it's 214. So is this about right? Yes. Is it within the realm of possibility? Yes. That's the correct answer. That is the short and dirty 10 minute video on how to do these math problems. There will be math problems on your quiz. You will have to calculate this out. Um, because of that, we'll probably be giving you extra time on the, the uh, media quiz. I will also be throwing up on Blackboard a series of uh, math problems that you guys can do on your own, and I will include the answers so that you guys can get more practice doing this if you wish. Your uh, laboratory handout does go in depth into this. Again, like I mentioned in the video, in the practical aspect of things, we often, more often than not, just make them in batches. We go through so much TSA that it's just easier for us to make them in batches. We also don't combine auger and broth. We can get TSA with the broth that's dehydrated, and we just throw that in as well. So that is uh, the math, quick and dirty math. You can always refer back to this. I figured I'd tease this out and pull it out on its own. Uh, I will upload this and get going. Have yourselves a good day.